I think the only thing that I couldn't really come up with is uh, as I was kind of taking a look at why the ball was coming out <clears throat> so low uh, early on in the game and then even having trouble to make the adjustment as, as quickly as I wanted to. Um, I think that uh, that kind of led me to go look at some video, a little spend a little bit extra time after I came out, and um, I kind of felt like I was uh, kind of not staying within the, my mechanics very well. This is something that I used to struggle with a lot in the minor leagues, um, especially my first couple years where I really struggled, um, and uh, I made some improvements on that um, over the course of my time, you know, just pitching and over the couple years, um, but once in a while I think it kind of flares up a little bit. Um, so that's obviously really frustrating because, you know, you want to be able to, like, be, give yourself the best chance um, in any time you step on the mound, but sometimes um, it's hard to tell that that's going to happen until you actually get out there. So I'm quite frustrated with that, but... I think that it's something that I, it, it's nicer to at least know kind of what it is instead of having no idea. Um, I think it's just one of those things where um, <clears throat> I've really been trying to locate my pitches well as a starter, be efficient and, and be down on the zone. I think that that kind of contributed to me kind of pulling off the ball a little bit. You know, I'm sure nobody's interested, but if you compare the last couple games versus this game, um, as I could kind of tell, I could see my head kind of pulling off a little early, and that's something that I used to struggle with more consistently. Now it only comes about once every while. So all I can really do is just hope that I can use this game as a way to um, just improve my diagnosis of that and be a little bit more proactive and like prepare to um, have that covered before you go into a game or something like that. Um, so hopefully I don't waste this opportunity to learn from that and, um, you know, waste this opportunity to not keep my team in the game today, you know, because that's your only goal, really. So um, I think all the frustration can kind of be channeled into, like, you know, improving yourself for the next time, making sure that doesn't happen again at all or very often or whatever. So... When something like that's happening, can you feel that you're pulling off during the game? Or I mean, you don't want to overthink things too much and get into your head. And um, So I was trying to just keep it as simple as possible and trying to continue to attack. And, you know, um, I think um, that's something that I've gotten better over the years with adjusting. I felt like I kind of brought the ball up a little bit in the game, but then what happened after that is that guys started putting good swings on it so um, it's kind of tough to find that happy medium when you when things are kind of swirling and you're working on it and stuff like trying to make a small adjustment but not over adjust and that's something that as a starter I think you have to be really good at doing that's something that I really appreciate some of these guys for showing how they can make those in-game adjustments and that's something that comes with experience and um, something I remember having to do uh, a couple years ago and getting back into that groove so um, you know, I feel like I should have done a better job of that. And, uh, you know, just how these last few games have been going, like pretty good, not quite good enough, you know, staying in it. And then, you know, having one like today is kind of like, um, I don't know, it's, it's kind of, it's tough to bounce back from that. But I'm going to try my best if I continue to get opportunities. So, you know, we'll see. Does seeing and understanding the video that you saw I think so, yeah. I mean, it's not like a huge deal. It's not like something where I just, yeah, I don't do it all the time. Uh, I try to be really in tune with my, uh, you know, myself physically. And that's not the only reason, you know, that's not the only thing that happened today. But um, I think that it does put you in the, the mindset of like, okay, I feel there's something positive that you can take away from every time that you play. And um, maybe the one for today is that I can be confident that I know 
what needs to be addressed and I have made that adjustment before so um, I want to you know use the past experience and the current knowledge of what's going on to kind of make that adjustment as quickly as I can.